Okay. Got our one, two, three, four people. The other bank account's wonderful. She puts three thousand in the saving account. Interest is added annually. Another rate of two point four percent per year. How much does she have after five years? Okay. okay. Right, uh, so she's going to get 3,000 increased by 2.4% for five years to the nearest cent. Three, three, seven, seven, point seven, zero. Okie dokie. B1. Uh, explain what is meant by present value of 1,000 euros in one year's time at a particular interest rate. So, it is the value of 1,000 euros in one year's time, but in today's money, i.e. discounted by the interest rate. So in other words, it will equal 1000 divided by one plus i. Now, what did I just do? That was B1. Okay. Part two now. Chan puts a different amount in the savings account with the same interest rate, 2.4%. After six years, Chan has 4,000 in the account. Work out how much money Chan put in initially, correct it in the nearest cent. So it's basically X unknown amount times 1.024 power 6 and um, that has to equal 4000 so very simple algebra here to get the x 4000 over 1.1.024 1 power 6 so that would be 3469.45 four, Part C now. Okay. Fiona is taking out a loan at the same annual interest rate of 2.4% per year. Fiona makes payments quarterly, that is four times a year. Work out the quarterly interest rate that would be equivalent to 2.4%. So basically, uh, it's the fourth root of 1.024 minus one. Isn't that how we do it? Um, yeah, that's equal to zero point zero zero. Five nine four six seven. So that would equal as a percentage to two decimal places zero point five nine percent. Okay.
Rowan wants to put the same amount of money in a saving account at the start of each month for 36 months. At the end of three years, he will have a total of 12,000 in the account. Interest is 0.11% per month. Take an egg for the amount he puts into the account at the start of each month. Write down a geometric series and egg show the total amount of money at the end of three years, including the first two and the last two terms. So he deposits, he deposits A in the account. And that will sit there for 36 months. So that's um, growing interest for 36 months. So 1.0011 power 36. And then he puts A in the next month. And that will sit there for, again, 35 months only. And it continues all the way until his second last payment will only sit in the bank for two months. And then the last payment will only sit in the bank for one month, the final month. And that's supposed to equal 12,000. And I bet the question next is going to be solve for A. Hence, find the value of A. Give your answers to the nearest cent. Okay, so part two here. So this is 12,000 equals, we'll take out the A. And what you're left here was a geometric progression. So the formula is A, which is the first term here, 1.0011 times um, 1 minus 4, which is 1.0011 over 1 minus R. But the R on the top has a power of how many terms? So that's 36. So you can just, on the calculator, get the A here. If I type this in very carefully, No, I must have typed this in wrong um, because that number is way too big. Yes, I missed a zero. That's better. 326.60. Oh, hopefully I typed that in right. As a geometric progression, this is the first term. It's the second term, so on. Uh, A times 1 minus R power N over 1 minus R. I think that's right. I sure hope so. Uh, okay, now it's um, looks like it's unrelated question now. Let's clear this off. Okay, a park sells three types of tickets, child, student, and adult. The table below gives information on the price of each ticket and the percentage of tickets sold. For example, 15% of all tickets sold are student tickets. The expected value of the price of tickets, 1385, work out the value of X. Okay, so the expected value, um, so that would be 0 0.52 times 11 plus five euros less than an adult ticket, blah, x minus five times 0 0.15 plus 0 0.33 times x, and that should equal 1385. 5.72 plus 0 0.15 x minus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.33x equals 13.85. We can solve this for x. 13.85 
minus 5.72 plus 0 0.75 over um, 0 0.33 plus 0 0.15. 1850. Let me check if that's right. So 11 times 0 0.52 plus 1850 minus 5 times 0 0.15 plus 1850 times 0 0.33 comes in at, oops, 1385. Okay, fine. When item's being sold, the markup is the profit as a percentage of the cost price and the margin is the profit as a percentage of the selling price. The shop sells an item with a margin of 18%. Work out the markup for this item. Okay, so the markup is the profit as a percentage of the cost. So profit over cost times 100. That's the markup. The margin is the profit over the selling price times 100. And, and that is the um, margin. In this question, we're told that a shop sells at a margin of 18%. So I can put in 18 here. Work out the markup. <laughs> so to get the markup and it doesn't really matter what the price is really so we can say without loss of generality we can assume uh, the price is just one euro so that means that the profit would equal 18 cent. But we don't know the cost. So have I missed something in the question? <laughs> Oh, also we need to remember that profit equals the selling price minus the cost. So in this example, that would be one minus the cost. That would be the profit, which is 0 0.18. So we can get the cost is one minus 0 0.18 which is 0 0.82. So now I can go back up here, and if I put that in profit of 0 0.18 over 0 0.82 times 100% to the nearest percent, that will equal 22%. Mm, I like it. I don't like it. Ah, profit over cost times 100 is the markup. Profit over price is the margin. The margin is 18%. Assume the price is one. A profit on that item sold for one euro would be 18 cent. Profit is the selling price minus the cost. So it must have meant that the cost was 82 cent. And then the markup is the profit, which is 18 cent over the cost of 82 cent, which is 22%. I like it. That's the end of that question.